morning guys do you notice how dark it is because it's six in the morning and alana and i are about to get crazy all up in here today luke can you tell us what we're doing today yeah nous irons dans le parc visiter les animaux vous savez que ici à tangeta c'est une ville touristique so let's do this let's go on a safari and hang out in the animal kingdom No, it's very bumpy. <laughs> it's very bumpy. <laughs> I'm sorry for the horrible filming. <laughs> We're about to pay for entry to Pinjari Safari. You just like saying Pinjari Safari. I totally like saying Pinjari Safari. <laughs> okay, we have arrived. And it's funny to me because the entrance is right in the middle of someone's village. So it makes me think, hmm, do the animals get out? How do they keep the animals in? Literally, it's a village here. And the entrance is here. Maybe they learn how to fight lions here. They've let us out of the car to go see the animals. I hope I don't get eaten by a lion. Well, we're definitely closer because I see some fresh poop. Where are you, Hippo? We can hear you, but we can't see you. There's a crocodile out there. A baby one. I think it's cute when they're a baby. Oh, bummer. The buffalo have left. This is the Hotel Panjari. You can stay at at the park. So, here are some of the rooms. Well, I think I'm filming in super vivid color. Here's like, it's like tent, hotel tent camping. All right, this is our hodgepodge group of misfits on safari. <laughs> bon appétit. We've decided to, to hang out at the lodge for a little while and have some tea for the morning. So, with a great view of the entire valley. Okay, we continue on our journey searching for animals. I think I'm finally awake. And it's 10 a.m. I've had a cup of tea, so I'm feeling all hopped up on tea and sugar. Let's do this. If you see anything, yell. Okay, we're tracking elephant shit right now. Okay. We keep seeing it along the road, which means there are elephants to be had for the taking today. We found one of my favorite animals in Africa. It's a warthog. He's right there through the brush. And when they run, their tails stick up like this, and they run and they go, nah, 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 and then when they're, they're done running, they go down. <laughs> Hi, little thing. Oh, there she goes. Okay, 
Benin, Burkina. Mm. Benin, Burkina. Benin, Burkina. Benin, Burkina. We are that close. So close. We've only been up here for a half a second and Luke's already lost his shoe. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we're on safari. So we saw one elephant, but it was actually too far away to even show you. It just looked like a big rock with a butt and a tail. So and a maybe flapping we'll, ear. Yeah, and a flapping ear. So maybe There's we'll find poop. There's some poop. There's some poop. This is our guide trying to... <laughs> That's our guide trying to call in the hippos. <laughs> or it sounds like something else. Kids, turn your sound down. <laughs> it's not working though. Oh my gosh, there's one. Wow. It's got glasses. What? She's eating. Mm. Bon appétit. shot <laughs> look at the journalist journaling the journalist doing her journalistic things you guys know this is the author of the book right I already introduced that at one point I hope she's the author of the book should be out next year you should keep your eyes out for it proceeds will go to BABB of course doing some editing hey oh if the editing turns out funky I blame that <laughs> And Luke's coming to have dinner with us at the hotel, which is tradition. My last night in Tangata, I always invite him to go out to dinner. So he's coming to meet us for dinner, and I want to eat some meat because I haven't had meat in a really long time. Sorry, all you vegetarians out there, I love you, but I really need to eat some meat protein tonight. <laughs> you need lots of beans and rice. Lots of beans and rice. Lots of beans and rice. And corn. Lots of corn. Lots and lots of corn. Every way. Fried corn, corn with nuts, ground corn, ground up corn, corn paste, corn in water. Fried corn balls. Fried corn balls. Oh my god, I totally felt something crawling down the side of my boob. And that little worm or whatever, it's big, was totally copping a feel on my side boob. I just shook that out of my bra. Dude. Dude, that's... <laughs> Okay. 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 We're having dinner with Luke at the hotel by candlelight. It's very romantic. But he brought letters from the children from all for all of you who want to be part of our Mon Cherie program. The kids just wrote you all letters about their likes and dislikes and their lives and what their favorite subjects are in school so you can get to know your child. And then you can write the same thing so they can get to know you as well. So that's what we're talking about. But we're going to eat first because... We're all really, really hungry, and I actually ordered a piece of beef. Je m'appelle Sabine. Sabine, 
j'ai Jackie, Sabi Jackie, j'ai 12 ans. Ma couleur préférée est rouge. Ok, je m'appelle Monique, j'ai 7 ans. Ma couleur préférée c'est le vert. Ce que je n'aime pas, ce que je n'aime pas, mauvaise odeur. Like bad odor. <laughs> Monique wants to be a doctor or a nurse when she grows up, and sh the things that she doesn't like is bad odors. <laughs> oh, oh she's, a bad place for you, Monique. <laughs> she's so cute. Lucas handwriting a proposal for Build a Better Benin and the children of the house for our cultural exchange program, Mon Chéri. As you can see, this is a collaborative effort. So it's not just myself and the board in the US, but we truly partner with everybody in Benin to get their ideas. Luke has created a logo. Here's a logo that he has an idea for. And that's what I feel makes it so special is that we really do partner with people here in Benin. And uh, we're the only foreigners involved everybody else is all Beninese helping the Beninese and that's what we like so literally he's writing a proposal with a pencil and a piece of paper and this will be our official start for a new program and it's it's a beautiful thing we're gonna say good night and promise you a fun journey tomorrow because we're headed back to Klagbawasa and tomorrow is like a big travel day on another bus. I feel like I've done nothing but sit in buses and cars and trucks and motors and taxis. No one can help me on the bus. Surprise, surprise tomorrow. <laughs>